In this tutorial, we're going to see how we can load uh, data from multiple Excel files into a single file. So we're going to use something called Power Query, and we'll see how to load data from multiple files and how to uh, refresh the data. Power Query is a data transformation and data preparation engine. So this is a very powerful engine. Uh, this is the best part of uh, Excel for all of you who are analyzing huge volumes of data or analyzing data and preparing reports from multiple data sources. Uh, this is a very powerful tool. It can help you scrape data from the websites, um, connect to different data sources, and do a lot of uh, extract transformation and load activities. Uh, it is powered by a scripting language called M language. So we'll be looking at a lot of tutorials in Power Query. I believe Power Query is the differentiating factor for Excel at this point. So we have data in multiple files here. Uh, let's assume these are sales reports for three months. We have sales for February, January, and March. So uh, let's look at the data. This is uh, the month ID, the customer ID, and the transaction value. We have three such files. So this is a for Feb, and this is for March. Now, a lot of users prepare uh, reports using multiple uh, files as source. And most of the time, uh, they open the file, copy the data, and paste it in a new Excel file. Now, this is not the best way to do this. So uh, we'll see how to do this uh, in a better uh, optimized fashion. So we'll have a new Excel file open. Go to the Data tab. In this Data tab, you have options for uh, Get Data. This Data tab is the Power Query tab. Uh, what used to be the Power Query tab. This is extremely powerful. It has a lot of good options. So we'll look at uh, how to load from multiple files. Now, in file, there is an option to load from a folder. I can go here. So I'm going to choose. This is the folder that has all the three files. So I'm going to select this folder. Now say open. Now Power Query is going to scan this folder and show me what are all the Excel files available. If you look at it, since I have these three files open, it's showing me these. Uh, three temporary files as well. So we're going to uh, combine and load these files. So you can say uh, combine and load. So it's asking which uh, sheet does the data, uh, where is the data stored? So I'm selecting sheet one. So you can see it is uh, showing me the file name. It is showing me the month. It has data for all the three months. It has Jan, Feb, and March. So I managed to load all of this data. This is in a table by default. So I can do other calculations here as well. I can save this file. I can save this file and uh, do whatever analysis I want on this file. I can delete this column as well if not required. Uh, it helps to keep this column to know that where the data is originating from. What happens if in the next month I get April data? How do I load it into this file? See a scenario how we can refresh this if we were to add a file. I'm gonna go and copy a file uh, I'm going to copy April and put it here. You can see sales April data is here. Now we're going to go back uh, to our file here and we're going to go to data and we're going to say refresh all. Look at it. Once I refresh, April data is here. In this file, all I have to do is simply open this file and refresh and it will load all the files which are in a similar structure. In a given folder, we can delete a file and see what happens. I'm going to delete the January file. I'll go here, refresh all. I should see January is gone. We have only March, February, and April. So that's a best way to load and manage your data using Power Query in Excel. I hope this was useful. Please use the comments to share your feedback. Thank you.